Hey guys, in this video we'll be defining different ways of observing fluids moving in space and introducing Reynolds transport theorem and in particular relating that to the conservation of mass. So up until now we've dealt a lot with streamlines and we've thought of a fluid as individual particles and imagine that these fluid particles follow various streamline patterns. So if we consider a group of these fluid particles uh, in a defined space and we follow each of the particles in the initial space as they move win within a flow, we can apply conservation laws that we've hopefully learnt before this course. So this way of, of observing a fluid is called the system or Lagrangian approach. Uh, what we're doing is observing specific particles as they move in a flow or alternatively, alternatively we're observing a fixed volume and seeing how that volume changes with time as the particles move. So these particles have moved in this flow and our volume has changed accordingly so that the shape of the volume changes but we're still only considering those particles. Um, and since we're observing only those particles, the mass of the system is unchanged. So that means it obeys uh, the conservation of mass. So using the conservation of mass, we can in fact derive an equation for the acceleration of these individual particles which depend on both position as dictated by the convective acceleration and time as dictated by the local acceleration. Uh, you don't really need to know this for now, we'll expand on it at a later date. So we'll leave it for now. What makes the system approach inconvenient is that it is difficult to take measurements of individual fluid particles I mean it's impossible to attach a pressure gauge to individual particles in a flow so another way to observe fluid flow is to just focus on a fixed volume in space and see what happens as fluid particles enter and exit that volume so in this diagram we've got a defined volume which we can call the control volume or CV for short and we see what happens as fluid particles enter from here so fluid particles enter from the left as the flow goes from left to right and particles exit from the right so that we're only dealing with that set space uh, that set volume in space uh, this makes it much easier to apply the conservation laws in order to